In contrast, XML has no native way of dealing with images. There are various ways that people have tried to get around this. Uh, for example, they will create an empty element, give it a dimension in CSS, and then give it a background image to kind of recreate the experience of having an image element that sort of puts a box on the screen with a picture in it. This is kind of an odd way to do things, to have something that you consider to be page content, your image, to be part of the styling, and XML purists are up in arms about that. Uh, sometimes the text uh, is altered in a way so that the image code is actually put into some kind of text element uh, in a way that when it's interpreted by the browser, it actually spits out the image on screen. There's some uh, Microsoft Office formats that do it this way. And the disadvantage there is that if it's a complex image, the file size becomes gigantic in a hurry. So is there a way that it's supposed to happen? Uh, there's a way that you can make it happen. You need to uh, put a lot of stuff in your DTD and you need to work with something that are called um, uh, external unparsed entities. And uh, let's take a look at how this works. Another file you have is called xmlimage.xml. An external unparsed entity, unparsed means that uh, your XML processor is not going to look into the contents of the entity looking for XML data. Uh, it's going to assume that it's something completely other, and because it's not XML, XML does not describe a way of dealing with it. Here's what you're supposed to do if you're going to follow XML to the letter. You declare what's called a notation. All right, you're going to use, let's say, JPEG to handle JPEG images. And somewhere available to the program that has your XML processor as a part of it, there's something that lets it know how to handle JPEG images, how to make them part of your presentation of your XML data, whatever that is. Okay, then we'll declare an entity. We'll call it educator logo. And then we refer to its URI using a system identifier. And then we specify that it's notation data, the type of the entity is notation data, and that it's a JPEG. Okay. Uh, then we'll declare an attribute for a particular uh, element. So for here we declare an element called image that's empty, and then we declare an attribute is list for image that's called source. And then we use it, uh, the value of that attribute has to be an entity reference. And we'll just make it required, meaning you have to have it, otherwise the element doesn't work. And so the way we do that here is that we have our image element down here in, in the uh, main part of our uh, page. We have a source attribute, and then we make an entity reference, educator logo. Well, we said educator logo refers to this here, and the notation that's supposed to handle it is called JPEG. So you would refer to whatever it is in your system that's going to process JPEG data, and let's say if it's some kind of display uh, program, it's going to display that JPEG as part of your page. Now, does this work? Well, probably not. Um, if you were to open this in a browser, you'd probably just get something that looks like this. You'll just get the XML stuff showing up on the screen uh, with nothing in particular. Why is that? Well, uh, your browser probably doesn't have anything to handle that notation. Okay, notations kind of hark back to the SGML days of XML, the idea that as we create the means of uh, creating these overarching systems of dealing with particular types of data that they're going to emerge and be available to everyone. Uh, that hasn't happened, but that's the mechanism that's available to us in XML. So really what's happening is if you hunt around the web looking for how to put an image in XML, you'll find message boards, blogs, everything everywhere basically telling you, A, that you can't do it, and B, why would you want to do it if you're an XML purist? Uh, the truth is there is a mechanism, but it requires so much back-end programming and, a, and a, an infrastructure of people wanting to make it happen uh, that they would have to coordinate in a standardized way, and that just hasn't come about yet.